In load transfer mechanism of RCC frame building structure, the applied loads on the floor and roof slab transferred to supporting beams. The beams transferred this load to supporting column and the columns transfers this load to footing. And finally, the footing transfers the load to underneath side. Hence, the footings are the most important component of the structure which are executed first in the construction sequence. Therefore, it is very important to provide the adequate size of, of the footing to carry the structure load. Generally, the size of footing depends on three items. First, the load acting on the footing. Second, size of column. And third, say bearing capacity of soil. We will get the load acting on the footing from the load distribution of the structure. The size of column will be considered from the column design and the safe bearing capacity of soil will be adopted from the soil test data or field test. However, in the absence of soil data or field test, following SBC values can be used as a guide for preliminary analysis for unimportant and lightly loaded structures only. But keep in mind that the universally applicable values of safe bearing capacity cannot be given. Hence, it is always advisable to get the safe bearing capacity of soil by proper geotechnical investigation from the expert. Before moving to next, there is a good news for you. We are starting Learn RCC Structural Design series from third week of October. This series mainly focus on design process of a residential building. Here, you will learn all the steps from deciding column positions to preparing final structural drawings in most simplified way. So, subscribe this channel and press the bell icon so that you can get all the notifications of this course. Now, let us move to our topic. Let us try to understand the computation of footing size with an illustrative example. Here, we will compute the size of footing for the column 300 mm by 300 mm size. The axial service load from the column is 1500 kN and the safe bearing capacity of soil at the site is 185 kN per meter square. First of all, let us calculate the total load on the footing. So, assume the self weight of the footing equal to 10% of axial load from the column. This is equal to 150 kN. The addition of axial load from column and footing self weight gives the total service load which is 1650 kN. The minimum area of footing required is equal to the total service load divided by safe bearing capacity of soil. After putting values and solving, we get it equal to 8.92 meter square. Now let us decide the length and width of the footing by doing proper proportioning. For this, let us assume the equal overhang projection of the footing from the column faces. With this, we will get the equal bending moment along width and length of the footing due to upward soil pressure. This in turn economize the required concrete and steel quantity. So let us assume the overhang projection of the footing equal to x. Now the length of footing L is equal to 500 plus 2 times x and width of footing B is equal to 300 plus 2 times x. Let us equate the area of a footing with minimum area required. After solving the equation, we get overhang projection x equal to 1292 mm. Round up this value to higher value so that we can get the more footing area than minimum required. 
Now put the value of x in the expression for length and width of the footing. Get the values of length and width of footing. The provided area of footing should always be more than the minimum required area. Thickness of footing is decided based on bending moment criteria, one-way shear criteria and two-way shear criteria. You can check out the detailed calculations of thickness of footing in separate video for design of isolated footing on this channel. The link of this video is given in the description. As per IS code, the minimum thickness should be 150 mm for the footing resting on soil and 300 mm for the footing resting on piles. If you like this video, give your comments. Don't forget to subscribe this channel and press the bell icon to get the notifications of the new videos.